Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the SAP Business One Product Evangelist, and I'm part of the SAP Global Small and Mid-Size Enterprise Team. And on behalf of everyone at SAP and our partners, I'd like to welcome you to our session today. In today's demonstration, I'm gonna take you through the reporting functionality of SAP Business One. Every system on the market captures information. And I think that's fair to say, but what separates the solutions that you can choose from is how well they give you the ability to get that information out, how they give you the ability to report on that information. So we're gonna focus on that. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. I'm gonna show you some reporting that's built into SAP Business One. And then I'm gonna also show you some web-based reporting that utilizes a cloud-based service called Business Intelligence On Demand. Also a solution from SAP. And remember with BI On Demand, what I'm gonna show you is available to you absolutely free of charge and you can trial this functionality right now even if you're not currently an SAP Business One user. Bear that in mind, but let's dive into the demonstration. Inside SAP Business One, as you've probably seen from a number of the demonstrations that I've already done, inside each of the modules, you have the ability to generate reports that are specific to that module. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I wanna take you into a consolidated area in SAP Business One, which is where you have the capability to generate reports from any part of the system. So you can see, just as we've got all of our module names up the top here on the menu, under our reporting area, we have each of those modules repeated with just the reports available for you. So let's look at a, uh, an example of a report. So in, the, my, in my business partners, I have an inactive customer report. So what I'm able to do here is I'm able to put in my selection criteria. So I can say I wanna see all of my customers or all of my business partners rather. And I'll just say, okay. And what I'll now get is a list of those customers that are inactive. So these are customers that have not had any transactions processed against them. Now remember, oh sorry, any transactions processed against them in a certain time frame. Now remember, one of the things that we do with SAP Business One is when we spoke to users about how they wanted to use the system, they told us, well, we generate reports, not because we like to have all this data printed out on paper. We generate reports because we want access to the information that's in there. And traditional systems, that was the only way you could get it. You had to generate the report and you had to look through it on the paper. Well, what we do with SAP Business One is we generate the underlying data that's in the report first. So what you can see here is I have a list of all of my inactive customers. So I can now start drilling down and taking action on the basis of this information. So I know these customers are inactive, so now I can decide what do I wanna do. So let's say, for example, I now wanna start calling them. So I call up that customer and I can now record an activity. Now, interestingly, what we've done is those things like activities, you, you can see we've got a button down here in the bottom corner where it says you can also. So I can also create an activity. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create an activity and now I put in that I've made a phone call to uh, Parameter Technology, have a discussion with them about why it's been a while since they've placed an order and so on and so forth. So the whole concept behind reporting is it gives you access to data and then that data is provided for you so you can take action on it. Of course, I can go in here if I want to and I can print that report. Now let's look very, very quickly at the report customization. So right now I have my inactive customers list and I have a quick report that's available. Anytime I've got a screen open that has a report sitting underneath it, to get into that report itself, I just click up here on my layout designer. And you can see what I've got is a report format. Now I can create multiple report formats if I want to. All I do is I've got my default inactive customer report. I can go in here, I can manage my layout. Now this brings up the report and layout manager. This is the tool 
which gives me the ability to configure how all of my reporting works. Do I want to use the inbuilt print layout designer or do I want to use uh, Crystal Reports, which comes with SAP Business One. Every SAP Business One deployment uh, gets one free user of the Crystal Reports designer and I can then use that for building more graphically rich reports. But it gives me the ability to have multiple layouts. So there I've got my layout and then all I do is I go in here and I choose to edit the layout. This now brings me in to my print layout designer and I'm able to now go in and start customizing all of the information that now appears on this report. I can move around the fields, I can add fields, I can change the description of those fields, I can basically do whatever I want. So here for example, let's say this is my inactive customer report. I'm gonna do something really, really simple here. If all I wanna do is change the content of the text, I just go across here to the content tab um, and I will change the name here. So I can say this is now non-transacting customers. And then I'll apply that and my change is put in there. Now, once I've finished making my changes, what I can do is I go up here into Print Layout Designer and I'll go Save As. And because that was my system layout, I can't overwrite that. I create that, I have to create this now as a customized version. So this is my, I'll call this Inactive Customers and I'll call this my custom report. And I'll say, okay. And that's now done. All right, so I can close that down and close that down now. And now you'll see I've got two report layouts that I can choose. What I can then do with that report layout is I can select this report and I can now set this as the default for everyone. I can set it as the default just for me, or I can set it as the default for specific users. So this allows you to, if you like, create different versions of the reports which show different pieces of information. So you can have one report which might show cost prices, for example, and another report which doesn't show cost prices, and then the you grant access only to those users who you want to be able to see cost prices to the report with cost prices. Hopefully that makes sense. So for example, I can go in here and I can say Richard Duffy gets access to this specific report. So now when I click update and I'll say OK, when Richard Duffy, that's me, goes ahead and prints this report. Now I don't have to, he doesn't have to choose it. I don't have to choose that report. All I do is click on report here and you'll now see I get the customized version of the report which has my change in there so it now says non-transacting customers. So a very, very simple example but a great uh, indication of the underlying functionality, the underlying flexibility that's in SAP Business One. Let's take a look at another one of our reports. Let's say for example in my financials in my accounting, I've got my customer receivables aging. So I can do my customer receivables aging and then I can print my reports. So I can see I've got my customer receivables aging. I can go in here and I can specify my aging parameters, how I want the aging to run, and then I will run the aging itself. And now I've got my aging data is ready for me to report on. So if I go in here and I click on my layout designer, you can see in this particular instance, I've got three different choices. I've got the receivables aging summary report, a detailed report, or I've got my customer statements. So if I wanna change the aging summary report, I can say okay to that. So as I go in here to the layout designer, you'll see this is a crystal report. So the same process that I go through with the print layout designer, all I need to do is click here on edit and then 
Uh, what will happen, it will bring up the Crystal Reports designer and allow me to go and make changes inside that. And I'm gonna, not gonna give you a training session on the Crystal Reports designer. Thing to bear in mind with Crystal Reports, of course, it is the world's most popular reporting solution. It's part of the SAP product portfolio. So finding people who can help you with Crystal Reports design should be very, very easy. Just about anybody who goes through a course in uh, programming, for example, in a university or a technical college learns how to use Crystal Reports. So big advantage having that functionality in the software. The other thing you can also do is you have the ability to import and export your reports and layouts. So your partner or other people in the SAP Business One community can produce report layouts and you can quickly and easily import those layouts into SAP Business One just by using the report and layout import wizard, which allows you to grab that file, bring in the report, uh, and have that automatically available to you in your report and layout manager. So that's a quick overview of the built-in reporting that's inside SAP Business One. What I'd like to do now is take you through and show you a couple of the more advanced reporting tools that you can access. So the first one I wanna show you is what we call Business Intelligence On Demand. BI On Demand is a cloud-based solution also from SAP and what I've done here is I have embedded BI On Demand inside my SAP Business One solution. Now it runs in a browser, so that means I can embed it inside SAP Business One just by using my browser widget. Now remember, widgets are those little components which we plug into the cockpit. If you didn't get a chance to watch the demonstration on the user interface, please go back Take a look at that, you'll see more explained to you about the widgets and about the cockpit. But this is, uh, this is the browser widget and all I've done is I've pointed it to my BI On Demand uh, website. Now you can set up a free BI On Demand account. And in BI On Demand, what I do is I fundamentally, I import data from my finance system and I get that data inside BI On Demand by producing that data as an Excel spreadsheet and then importing it into BI On Demand. So here's one in my um, television chef uh, approach, the one that I've created earlier. What I've done is I've created a sales analysis report by customer. I'm gonna show you how I did that in a second. But all I need to do is click on that data set which I've uploaded into BI On Demand. And you can see here is the underlying data that came out of SAP Business One. And then all I do is I click here on Explore. What this now does is it automatically, using the Business Objects Explorer, it gives me the ability to now start looking through all of my data in a visual fashion. So what am I looking at here? Right now, I'm looking at my accounts receivable invoices by customer. So what I can do is I can say, I want to see my total AR invoices. So there it is. So now I'm looking at my total AR invoices. So the sum of all my invoicing, so my sales by customer code, but Instead of by customer code, I might want to see that by customer name. So all I do is I choose customer name, and now you can see that information is now being graphed out for me. And then if I want to change that, let's say for example, I want to see that as a pie chart. So again, all I do is select that as a pie chart, and you'll see the graph automatically changes for me on the fly. Now, once I've got that looking exactly the way I want it, I'm also then able to save this as what we call, um, well, well, I'll save it actually as a visualization. And then I can take multiple visualizations and save them into a dashboard in BI On Demand. So in order to do that, uh, all I need to do is click here and choose Create Visualization it then stores it into my cloud database 
and then I go into my dashboard and pull it into the dashboard. I'm not going to show you how you do that. Again, we've got some other demonstrations which go into that in more detail, but I just wanted to give you an overview and a little bit of an understanding of the capability of this particular tool. So for example, I can go in here and say, I only want to see my top five customers. So there you have it. Now I'm just seeing my top five customers with all my other customers put in this bracket called other. And of course, I can go in and remove that other. So now I'm just seeing my top five customers. So that's our BI on demand. It has a lot of capability, a lot of um, power and flexibility that you can take that information and start to build those visualizations. And again, as I mentioned, you can take those, you can put them into a dashboard. Now the other advantage of BI On Demand is all of that functionality is also available on an iPad. And in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna take you through a demonstration and show you exactly the same thing running on an iPad. What I want to do though is come back into standard SAP Business One functionality for a second and show you one other area in SAP Business One um, that I like to work with on a regular basis. And that's what we call Drag and Relate. What Drag and Relate does is it gives you the ability to, if you like, um, get an ad hoc view or an on the fly view of your data that's in the system. Let me explain what I mean. What I can do here is I can go in, for example, in Drag and Relate, and if I want a list of all of my sales quotations, all I need to do is double click on sales quotations. And there you can see I have uh, my sales quotations. Now, I can then start doing things in here so I can start filtering. So I can filter on my open items. So all I did was I dragged the open field down on top of my filter and it's automatically said set the status equal to open. I say okay, now I'm only seeing my open sales quotations. So again, I can remove that filter, just delete that or go in here and say clear and okay and now I'm seeing all of my sales quotations. So again, if I want to only see the closed ones, or let's say I only want to see sales quotations for Earthshaker. I click on the customer code for Earthshaker, I drag and drop it on top of the filter, and it now knows that it's going to filter this information and only show me that uh, data where my customer or vendor is equal to C40,000, which is the code for Earthshaker. And now I'm only seeing the Earthshaker quotes, I only want to see the open ones. So again, I drag and drop and say OK. And now I'm just seeing the open uh, quotations for Earthshaker. So it gives you the ability to get very, very powerful and quick inquiries into the system. But you can go one step further. Let's say, for example, I now have this information in here and I want to start doing a little bit more um, drag and relate. So let's say I am interested in looking at my business partners. What I can do is all I need to do, I did that a little bit quickly there, sorry, is I drag my customer, my business partner code across the top of the business partners option in the drag and relate menu and it automatically opens up the business partner master screen for that particular customer. Let's say I wanted to see all of the activities that I have for Earthshaker. Again, I can drag and relate that over the top of activities and it'll bring up a list of all the activities or in this case, I only have one, so it's bringing up that activities function. So that's drag and relate. And of course, once I've got that data there, so let's say for example, I want to see all of my open purchase orders. So I'm gonna double click on there. There's my open purchase, or well actually that's all of my purchase orders. And I only wanna see the open ones. So I've got a couple of choices. I can filter on um, 
the status and say where the status is not equal to closed or where the status is equal to open. So here is open, so I can drag and relate that onto my filter. That's correct. And after a while, you'll actually get to know how to type in the values into these filters and it's all covered in our documentation. But I can click on OK there. So now I'm just looking at my open purchase orders. If I want to now send that listing to somebody in the company, well, I can print it out. So I can do a, a window print. Or I can go up here and I can click on my email option. And what it will do is it will allow me to now take this and send it across to somebody inside the organization using the internal email. So very, very flexible, very, very powerful. So that's drag and relate. The next thing I want to show you is also part of our cockpit. And if you look across the top here, you'll see I have a little lookup window which says look up operations, master data and documents. I can very, very quickly look up information inside Business One just by clicking in here. And if I'm looking for Earthshaker, I can just start typing. As soon as I start typing in here, the system is automatically going to first try and choose a function inside SAP Business One. So let's say, for example, you know you want to maintain a business partner. So you can start typing in business partners and there it is, there's business partner master data. It will take me straight to business partner master data. Let's say you want to put in a sales order, but you can't remember how to do that. You can just start typing sales order, click on it, and there it is. It takes you straight to a sales order. If you want to start looking up a customer, you can type in as much of the customer name as you know, and then press enter. Now, I typed in the word earth, I've only got one customer beginning with um, that. So it takes me straight to that business partner. It takes me straight to that customer record. But if all I know is E and I press enter, what you're going to now see is all the results that contain that um, letter in terms of my data. So I've got 38 items and I've got 15 business partners. So now I can drill down. So. A uh, very, very quick and easy way of getting access to that underlying information inside SAP Business One. And then I can quickly jump to that. Another example, I've got a customer on the phone and say, look, I, I want to know some information about um, your IBM info printer. And you can't remember the code and frankly, neither can they. All you have to do, IBM, enter. Now you've got all of your products that have got the word IBM in there. Okay, so there's my results. And okay, what would they like to know about? The IBM InfoPrint 1312. Again, using the golden arrow, click. There's my drill down to my item master data. Now let's take one step further and combine that with drag and relate. So let's say they want to know, well, do you get a lot of service calls on the IBM InfoPrint 1312? Let me check. All I do is drag and relate the code over the top of service calls and you'll see no matching records found. So no, I haven't had uh, very many service calls on that. Maybe I might want to look if there is any customer equipment cards or any customer service contracts active for that product. And no, there's not. Let's take a look at another example. I've got a product, my server point 1000. There it is, and this is a, a manufactured product. So again, I can look at this here. Do we have very many service calls on the S1000? I drag and relate, and I've only got one service call on the S1000, and I can see that was a service call which came in via Twitter, because we're using social media, and it was a training problem, and it was a new user intro. So again, what this is giving you is giving you an incredible amount of power and flexibility as to how you can get information from the system. Final thing that I just want to touch on as well, because we are again talking about reporting, is don't forget that inside SAP Business One, in the cockpit, we have these dashboards. 
Now, we deliver a number of these pre-built dashboards, which are built with SAP Crystal dashboard design, but you can also create your own dashboards and incorporate them into SAP Business One. And a number of our business partners are also very, very proficient in creating these dashboards, and they can also create dashboards for you. So here, for example, you can see in my sales cockpit, I've got a sales analysis dashboard which shows me in real time all of my sales information. So here's my top five customers. So right now, my top five customers include Norm Thompson, SG Electronics, and Earthshaker. Now Norm Thompson, he's done 5,000, he's purchased $5,100 worth of product from me. This all gets updated in real time. So if I go in and I produce an AR invoice now, I'm gonna produce an AR invoice for SG Electronics. And I'm gonna process a pretty big sale for them. They're gonna buy 20 of these printers. And I'm gonna add that. And that's now in there. And I'll close that down. What you will see happen is when I choose refresh data, my data in my dashboard is automatically being refreshed and now you'll see that SG Electronics is my top customer. Now, we can even set that refresh so it happens in the background. To speed up the process for the demonstration, I did a manual refresh, but you can set that to automatically refresh every five minutes. So if you feel like it, you can sit here and as your people are putting in sales orders into the system and putting uh, invoices into the system, you can sit here in your dashboard and watch your top five customers changing dynamically to see um, you know, who is the top performing customer and so on. So that's the power of those dashboards. We've also got other dashboards in here as well. You can see here in my finance dashboard, I actually have my aging. And then in my service dashboard, I also have, um, or in my service cockpit rather, I also have uh, a service dashboard which is available, giving me an overview of all my service information. So that's an overview of the reporting functionality that's available inside SAP Business One. Reporting functionality that you can extend out by using the cloud-based BI On Demand. So there you have a fairly comprehensive coverage of the reporting functionality in SAP Business One. We looked at the built-in reporting, we looked at the print layout designer, and of course the crystal reports capabilities inside SAP Business One. We looked at the dashboards that are available for you inside Business One. We then looked at the business intelligence on demand, and don't forget you can sign up for a free BI On Demand account. Just go to bi.ondemand.com and you can get that. So I believe that that will give you a really good understanding of the depth of functionality that's available from a reporting perspective because what people tell us it's reporting that really makes or breaks a business management solution. If you've got any questions, just click on the ask a question button on the screen, pop in your question and we'll get back to you as soon as we can with some answers.